Hello and welcome to Pots and Trowels. This week we're going to be starting to do a little bit of tidying and cutting down in the garden. Some of the perennials need a trim back and we're also going to be exposing the fruit in the fruit cage to let the birds in there to control pests. One of the things I'm asked on a regular basis at this time of the year is when can I start cutting back perennials and shrubs and to get the garden tidied up ready for winter and there's no easy answer really because things need cutting back at different times. I always do it gradually but you know now we're into November it's time to start doing a little bit of a tidy up because if you don't all of a sudden you've got everything to do and it's too much to do. So any perennials that are still standing and looking good I leave but I'm now gradually starting and things like this sangre sorba here which is a lovely perennial in the first part of the summer as you can see it's completely finished now so I'm gonna give that a good trim and with these they can be given their final trim by cutting them literally down to ground level and what, what that will do is get rid of all this horrible waste on there which we will compost at a later date it makes it easier for when we weed through the borders or if we fork through them so it's just a case of using a pair of secateurs trim it round take any dead out of there and trim that right back so that's certainly one sort of thing that we can get rid of that tidy up now and get rid of it things like hostas as well these are just starting to go over some of them go faster than others but when they start to rot down like this I like to clear them away because if you don't you get this mold of wet horrible dead foliage which is a great place for slugs and snails to hide so once they've collapsed probably another week or so they will be got rid of as well <laughs> Other things that can be given a bit of a tidy up are things like these liatris and, and these are really unusual when they're in flower they're a lovely purple these spires and, and unlike lots of flowers on spikes that start at the bottom and work the way up these are in reverse the top flowers open first and then down the branch uh, but what we can see here they're all starting to die back so I'm just gonna again give these a tidy up it's one of those jobs that if we start tidying them up now come new year when everything has died down it just makes it that little bit easier and these die back to a corm so by taking the old flower heads off it allows the corm to fully develop so that we get better flowers for next year so what I'll do with all this now these are going to go into trugs and then I'll make a heap by the compost heap and when I've got a big pile of leaves and prunings and stems that I've cut down if they're a bit woody we'll pass them through a shredder mix it all together and then it can all go together to make a really big hot steaming compost heap but we'll do that in a few weeks time so what I'm doing now is I'm taking off the fronts of the fruit cage because I grow the blueberries, the red currants, the black currants and the gooseberries in this fruit cage here and I've got fronts on that can be taken off and we keep them on obviously through the summer to keep the birds out because they just take all the fruit but obviously the fruit's been picked now so I'm taking them off because I want to encourage the birds to go in there over the winter months because they'll do a really good job at eating any weed seeds on the ground but more than anything when the leaves have fallen off in a week or two's time they'll go in there and they'll get any aphids and insect pests that are in there so they will help to clear up the fruit so that next year hopefully it'll be nice and healthy and pest free. Well that's just about it for this week but Jill did say when I was in the veg garden to get a cauliflower for tea. I think it's cauliflower cheese which is one of my favourites. They've done fairly well this year the cauliflowers. It's a variety I've grown for a couple of years called Moby Dick. It's a late summer autumn one and depending when you plant them you can time them from September right the way through until November. Unfortunately this one at the end has gone over just a little bit. We might be able to rescue a little bit but if you don't pick them when they're young cauliflowers blow and get too big but this is sort of the perfect stage this one here and I've got the nets on to keep the pigeons off uh, and if you want to hang on them to a little bit more and just to stop them going yellow a little tip is just to snap some of the leaves 
over them so that you hide the cauliflower. This is white fly, by the way, brassica white fly. It's a real problem, but don't worry about it. Snap a few leaves over and that keeps it nice and white until you're ready to pick it. But this one I think will do for our tea tonight. So I shall cut that and deliver that into the kitchen. So thanks for watching Pots and Trials this week. We'll of course be back next week. And thank you also to Cobra Garden for sponsoring us.